Hi. Hello. Hello. This is um, uh, Robots on Typewriters video special here. I recently acquired The Sims because I had um, an insatiable desire for it. Actually, I had an insatiable desire for it, and then I found at some point in the past I had already bought it and never played it. Huh. I feel like over this quarantine you've been regressing to childhood. And you know what? I'm having a great time on Robots on Typewriters, which is a podcast that we make where we talk about computational creativity that includes uh, the kinds of fun, creative, entertaining, humorous things that you can do using computers, random generation, procedural generation, AI, stuff like that. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I've already answered. And one thing that we do a lot on Robots on Typewriters is we um, play like RPGs where we create characters or for, what, for whatever reason we end up generating characters. Um, and so we have a kind of stock of characters that we have made and sometimes return to because, uh, because we love them, all of them equally, obviously. Incorrect. It's absolutely correct. If you say otherwise, you're fired. I thought that it might be a fun thing to do to kind of apply our character generation process to uh, Sims and make some people, maybe make some of our pre-existing characters and see what they do, see how things go. What What do you want to do first? Do you want to, do you want to, I think we should make a new person. Yeah, I think, yeah, we should show what this character creation process normally looks like for us on the podcast and then this character will, for the first time, come like fully fleshed with an appearance. Normally we have like a description of an appearance, but I think having an actual visual to go with the character that we're like imagining the same character, uh, that'll be that'll be something fun. Usually we use as a base, like a, a just a foundation is a site called npcgenerator.com. Because I, I also want to do something that's more kind of like letting a, a AI tool kind of run with it. Let's let's do two characters. Okay, so let's start with, um, let's just, let's do our regular kind of NPC generator situation first. I've got it up already. I hit the random button button a few times the generate button i i may have cooked the books a little bit to guarantee a certain trait uh, that is fine i was gonna require that you do that anyway we have a type and it's gay our boy's name is leo frick cornwallis is leo frick one name leo frick uh, l-e-o-f-r-i-c-k okay cornwallis i already like him yeah he is a 41 year old male human bandit oh my god i haven't even read the whole thing yet you're gonna get yourself ready i'm ready he has a bald head and green eyes all right i hate a bald head that's no fun F listen listen go with me on this bald head you're gonna love the way he looks i guarantee it okay <laughs> All right, he's bald and green now, perfect. He has soft white skin. Okay, it's a little bright. Can you get rid of his like five o'clock shadow? Yes. Because I feel like that's not soft. I want him to be a perfectly smooth egg. I don't like that, but I guess it's what we're doing. God. He stands at six foot three and has an athletic build. Stands at six foot six, head and shoulders. That's a little repo the genetic opera for you. So he has an athletic build. That is that is a certain kind of athletic. Is that too athletic? Is this who we want? Uh, we're gonna. Sorry, I should have read this one before the last one because we have to go back to his face. His body looks fine to me. He has a sharp, bland face. I think you've nailed the bland. It just needs to be sharpened. Sharpened. I think the eyebrows are already pretty sharp, which is good. Probably be sharper. Tell me if you see a sharp nose here. Oh yeah, and don't be afraid to give them some real angles. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think it fits. I'm actually going to reveal to you. I'm going to skip to the personality traits just to give you this detail. Yeah. Okay. He is a cross-dresser. Okay, okay. What? I thought you would be all about it. I am into it. I don't I don't like the terminology. I'll also add to, to this that he is totally oblivious to etiquette and to social expectations. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sharpen those eyes. So I'll also add one thing that I don't think either of us will like, but it, it might give us a hint at his voice, actually. He smells of tobacco. Fucking gross. Okay. So I think he's got like a gravelly smoker voice. Okay. Who can accept? You can't hear him, can you? No, I cannot hear him. And I think we got it. Why? He sounds a bit like Harvey Firestein, so. All right, great. I think it's time to dress him. Can you dress him? Yeah. 
absolutely. Dress them honestly too much because I, I hate having to pick all these things, but they don't really matter. We'll just do like a day look and a... If I had abs like that, I would be wearing just that shirt all the time. What else can you tell me about his personality? He is very impatient and he can't stand laziness. He worships the god of sin of the nine hells. <laughs> okay, that's actually highly commodious. Ah. Yeah, so he's a real bad he's like boy, a... but he's also completely oblivious. I want to give him a little bit of a goth vibe Ooh. in that case. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? I actually, so that comment is pretty, uh, pretty good because I forgot one other thing that you're going to love about him. He is a werebat. You can't see my face, but my jaw is on the ground. I heard it. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, he's a gender non-conforming, oblivious werebat. Did you tell me his sexuality? Is he bi? Yeah. Oh, he's gay. Okay, okay. And he's single. Okay, I am I think I'm actually really into this shirt situation here. What can you do for me in the pants department? You know what? I think clothes that are like ripping away is perfect because it makes it easier when he becomes a bat to just be a bat. Of course, yeah. I feel like I always automatically take off Sims socks. I just I just don't like them there. You just to get more comfortable. <laughs> uh, shoes. Something easy to get on and off, I think. Um, that's almost how I would describe those. I think he's a pretty complete character in this sheet that like, he has an athletic build and he's like, his strength is off the charts. Charisma on the low side. He might need some help finding, uh, finding a date. I think when we create our next character, we will of course be cooking the books to find him a man. Yes. Where, I keep thinking vampire, cause wait, what's the difference between a werebat? A vampire can choose to transform. A werebat transforms at the full moon. Okay, and has like no thirst. It's like, what's the difference between someone who is a wolf animagus or versus being a werewolf, right? To put this into Harry Potter lore terms. More terms. I don't know what Harry yes. Potter is. I feel very proud of the take like four years ago that we declared Harry Potter does not and has not belonged to JKR. It belongs to us now. It belongs to us, not not us personally. Yeah, just us. The thing we took control before people even knew someone needed to take control, and now we're just like default in there. Yeah, yeah we actually took control starting with JKR's Twitter account. You've been running that for years. years. I have. I, I have not. I will firmly say I have not. I don't want to own that. Let's give him a formal look too. I feel like formal looks are always fun. Now that is not Leo. All right. I think it's also got to be pretty like, you know, batty. You have any like flowy like evening? Get uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was looking at. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There's definitely some, there's some evening gowns. Let's see if- I like what you picked. It would have to be a strong baddie gown to beat that. Yeah, I don't think yeah. the gowns are batty enough, quite honestly. There's, I want like a big, <laughs> I want like a skirt I would wear. Let's put some rocking shoes on yeah. here. It's pretty good. If we can get some batty jewelry. Yeah, I feel like the cheesier, like tackier the jewelry, the more fitting for him. He is oblivious to societal expectations and etiquette. Those are his bat wings right there. Yeah, I see it. Can you give him some makeup? Oh, yeah. Nothing too, like, good, because his face should be bland. That's true. And also, I feel like he wouldn't be great with makeup. Oh, yeah, the black lipstick makes a lot of sense for him. Is the eyeliner too good? Nothing too flashy or too like even too good at being batty. Is this too nice? I think this looks too good, actually. <laughs> I feel like this is nice, but like not too nice. I like that his earrings uh, disobey gravity in order to not hit him in the neck. <laughs> They're like uh, allergic to his skin. <laughs> He's actually got two magnets implanted in his neck just so that effect can happen. <laughs> so that when he walks around, they kind of like flip in the wind like bat wings, yeah. This is why he's still single. He's spending all of his time on neck magnets and praising uh, Asimodius. I'm kind of satisfied with this formal look. I don't really want to bother with other looks because I hate having to do like five different looks and we don't want to spend all that time. <gasps> yeah, that's a Leo I'd like to frick. <laughs> and he's a bandit, remember? So his job is robbing people. That's I just remembered we have to do this stuff. So Deviance is definitely the one. Public enemy, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. definitely the one. What else we got? Kleptomaniac. Uh, he can't stand laziness and he's very impatient. Impatient must be a trait, right? How about hot-headed? Yeah, that works. 
I feel like he might be non-committal. We're just gonna throw him on a lot and then we'll come back to him later. For the next character, do you want to just get like a name and then throw it to right with Transformer? All right, I'll hit the random name button a few times. Uh, tell me more about this guy, please. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you all about this guy and you can decide whether we're gonna throw him into right with Transformer. Okay. So I got a tiefling. Um, I know you love tiefling. Yeah, all right. Well, he's a tiefling. He's 156 years old, and his name is Hurt. His name is Hurt? I can make you Hurt. <laughs> I can make you Hurt. Uh, so let me describe him in his entirety to you, and then we will decide what we're going to keep and what we're going to change with Right With Transformer. Hurt is a 156-year-old male tiefling fighter. He has long, wavy brown hair and brown eyes, smooth red skin, 5'11", athletic build, a round, creepy face, and he smells lightly of flowers. Okay. Uh, he worships the god of water, purification, and wetness. Uh. He hates fair play. He is materialistic. He believes in destiny. He is bisexual. He is married. Oh. You know, things change. <laughs> and he is being possessed by an evil spirit, and they argue constantly. Now <laughs> that I fucking love. So he has... Um, Really good stats, too, by the way. Uh, his strength rivals Leo Frick, and his charisma is way, way higher. Very charismatic. I, I think this is like Leo Frick's kind of guy, too. I agree. Why don't we do this? Let's start making him. Know what I'm going to do? Yeah, so start making him based on what I said, and I'm going to put everything in his description into Right With Transformer. The good thing about the way these are written is every line starts with he is, he does, he is. So if we just get it to generate, it should give us more like descriptive lines like this. Yeah. Um. So his name is just Hurt. Is there, there's there, there's no last name, I suppose. No last name yet. He might hyphenate. <laughs> he might hyphenate nothing with Cornwallis. Yeah, Hurt nothing Cornwallis. It's just Hurt and then like a blank hyphen Cornwallis. I think, can you do red skin? You can. Yeah, I like the skin tone. I like actually that he has a bit of a baby face. Long, wavy brown hair, yeah. Okay. All right, now I'm getting some descriptions. No, that's not what his hair looks like. What's the one right above what you just clicked on? This? Ooh, that's a pretty boy. But here, is this what you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a good question because I think that might not be what he looks like, but I think that's a better look than some of the other ones. I can I can inquire about his face. He has a round, creepy face, by the way. Uh, I just typed in his face and I let it generate. So his face has a large mouth. Okay. That makes his jaw seem to stick out. Okay, um... His nose is slightly sunk. Yeah, it looks sunken to me. What are you doing? Stop moving your face like that. Oh, he's thinking. Don't, don't think. What is he doing? You ruined your pretty face. Is this face round and creepy? That's what I'm trying to make it. How do you make a round? What is creepy? Like, well, can you adjust his head face? I mean, head face. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want them to know about his tummy face. Can you adjust his head shape? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. And it's getting creepier because now it kind of yeah, looks like a doll's yeah. head. He looks like a straight up tomato. He also has large hands and a large chest with big muscles. Okay, well, let's go back to this boy's body. Um, we, wow, oh, he's a sight. His face, yeah, I think his face ended up as round and creepy as we <laughs> hoped. But he's still kind of pretty. He still smells lightly of flowers. So I think he should be muscular, but not as muscular as, as Leo Frick. That's, let's do some shoulder work here. All right. This is a physical comedy, but I'm doing some shoulder exercises. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. What, what do we know about him? Um, what's his What's his deal? Who? What is he? Uh, he believes in destiny. He has. He hates fair play. He's materialistic. So, he's a greedy cheater. 
Okay. Uh, he's a fighter, too, by trade. He also, he speaks a variety of languages, but has not mastered any of them. Okay, well, then what if we're trying to get him to be a fabulous wealthy, like, a, just like a, a... Yeah, I think he's, like, he he's like a cage fighter. I think he's Conor McGregor, but in demon form. Like, he's a, he's kind of a shithead. He, like, thinks a lot of himself. Kind of dirty, yeah. So he can just be a fucking bodybuilder. Perfect. He's quick to anger. Then he's probably also hot. <laughs> he's materialistic, I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is there anything that, like, implies he's, like, kind of cosmopolitan, even though he's a shithead? Uh, there's ambitious. Is that one say exotic or erotic? erotic. Uh, <laughs> so neither. I think he can be ambitious. I think that makes sense. He also, I don't know how to interpret this. This is right with Transformer. He hates anything that makes people feel uncomfortable. I don't even know what that means. Um, let's let's talk about his wardrobe. I don't know if you've been asking Transformer. Oh uh, yeah, I'll I'll ask what he likes to wear. He wear he likes to wear heavy clothing. His color palette: red, <clears throat> yellow, Ooh. and gray. Red, yellow, and gray. Okay, we I bet we can I bet we can do that. I feel like sweatshirts are just the way to go. Yeah, I think that's uh, like sweatshirts, jackets, outerwear. He's kind of he looks frumpy. I know. You're, you're making him look frumpy. I know. So uh, give him some like yellow chinos. You got any? You got anything like that? I don't know if we got yellow Ooh. pants. There's got to be some. Come on. Come on. Honestly, let's just take all of his clothes off. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I was looking <laughs> yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, is this hoodie what we want? I don't know. What I don't know how to interpret heavy <laughs> clothing. You want to ask Transformer a little bit more about what he likes to wear up top? His favorite things to wear are a red and white plaid shirt oh and a red leather vest that might be tough to find I don't know if we can do all that yeah i think that works okay you know what maybe his nightwear has the leather vest if they're sure this. we can do that his shoes are a pair of black leather shoes easy enough with red laces harder than that <laughs> we're, we're going with these he is wearing socks though let's get those let's... i thought you were gonna say let's get those off <laughs> kind of yeah um this actually looks very nice on him i know this is not correct <laughs> <laughs> yeah i actually agree that you you nailed his work outfit i don't like that he picks tones very close to his skin tone <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh that's that's good for him yeah, it's it, like he likes, it's his skin tone. It like nearly matches his <laughs> exactly. skin tone. Exactly. His evening pants are a long red. Come on, man. I feel like they're not, ooh, they're leather, I think. You know. <laughs> I think these are right. I think you've made him hurt. I have made him hurt. Oh, no, you need two names. All right, what can we do? Can you just put a space? What about many spaces? Should I look up if he has a nickname? Uh, sure, yeah. And that can be his first name. He goes by the nickname King of the Jungle. <laughs> King of the Jungle. <laughs> jungle hurt. It's too long. Uh, you want a shorter nickname? The Red Fox. Oh, does he ever? <laughs> Red fox hurt. <laughs> That's a sentence. <laughs> it's a sentence. Yeah. Here's yeah. my my proposition. You can you can shoot this down. I would love just because I love our I love our um you know some of our pre existing characters and we don't get to play with them all that much. Um, I would love to put one other wild card in this town to complicate things between. Yes, I like that. I think there's two, there's probably one option of who could oh, be the wild to know card. Who you think that is? I think it's got to be Jack. Okay, thank God. I wanted to make Jack so bad. I think that's the only option because he's canonically either gay or bi, and he's also a weird little prince of darkness he's like weird. these boys. You're right. You're right. Oh man. Okay, let's make. Let's make Jack a good boy. I didn't want this to happen, but we have to make Jack. We have to. Do you, do you want to do a rundown on who Jack is or shall I? Yeah, I'll, from the best of my memory, give you a rundown. Correct um, you when you're rude and wrong. Long ago, we decided to play a spelling bee on the podcast. And somehow in this spelling bee emerged a character named Jack. I don't think Jack had a last name. 
but he might have. But Jack works down at the cannibal factory. Jack is a a very subdued, kind of smooth-talking cannibal. Uh, He's very open about the fact that he is a cannibal. He has, like, a simple brother named, like, John or Jake. Jake. Jake is his brother's name. Mysteriously have very different voices that Jake has, like, kind of a hick southern draw. And that Jake is, like, very smooth-talking city yes huh yeah very good Hmm, yeah first of all why don't let so this is going to be like totally Hmm. right with transformer because we don't need anything from a music generator so um why don't you ask the his last name jack the cannibal last name is said to be taken from an old french word for lover of the flesh are you Oh, it's because you said cannibal in there. I forgot. <laughs> what is that old French word, pray tell? That word is also an anagram of... Okay, well, this is actually a fun game. Let's find out what's an anagram of, and then we'll just figure it out from there. The word gourmet. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's look at the word gourmet here. R- Mount Rouge. True Gour- Tom Gore. J'aime true. Gemtru. I like that a lot. <laughs> Jack Gemtru. <laughs> and I'm his brother, Jake Simmons. Gemtru, French for lover of the flesh. That makes oh. sense. Out. Absolutely. I know French. <laughs> I think that Jack is, he's like an entrepreneur. He has like a Silicon Valley entrepreneurial sense. Yeah. Yeah. He's very like slick businessy guy. Yeah. He's goal driven and he's money driven. He's ambitious. That was a thing, right? Is cannibal in there somewhere? What is he doing? What is his foodie work for you? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Um, is inquisitive in there because I forgot one of the key details about him is that he has this catchphrase, which is, wouldn't you say? You're right. Um, I, what, what about outgoing? He's family oriented or wait, were him and Jake on good terms or not? No. Oh yeah. He, his day outfit is a suit. His night outfit is even more formal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's, well, let's just put him in a suit. Well, okay, wait, let's, what What does he look like? I guess let's ask Transformer. All right, I put him in a suit first, actually. I think we can't You're right. fully imagine him out of suit. It's going to be like a nice, like, tailored suit. It's going to be a nice tailor ham. Yeah, it's going to be a honey glazed suit. Which part of New Jersey are you from? Do you call it a tailored suit or a suit roll? <laughs> black on black? That's too bulky. Maybe that's just his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's about right. How about these shorts? Is this what we're looking for? <laughs> well, yeah. It's, <laughs> he does all of his cannibal meetings over Zoom now, so he doesn't really need to wear pants. Yeah, and this is just what he sleeps in, his little... Uh, <laughs> and his yeah, I think that's the right outfit. Okay, this is him. Um, yeah, now let's talk about his looks. All right, I always imagine, like, slick back black hair. Oh, my God, I cannot fucking, I can't control this, like... I'm imagining you're looking at your hand, saying, I cannot control this. That's a kind of slick... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I like it being jet black, too, because I really think he is not naturally black haired. I think him and his brother have, like, fair hair. They're kind of, like, they're they're just very, like, country-looking. Um, and he dyes his hair black and slicks it back to like look more what he thinks looks like city. I'm not hating the like vibe of his face already. I think he just needs to look a little, little slimier in a, an attractive way. Like, I think the the mouth is given the right like smugness. I feel like his nose is a little too. He's got a friendly nose. Make it make it meaner. Um, his eyebrows also look a little too friendly. I know we can do something sharper. I mean, maybe maybe the hick thing is a put on too. Oh, they're both scamming us. That could be it. And Gem True is just completely made up. Actually, Jake has a different anagram of gourmet as his last name. Uh, I'll work on that. Oh, uh, we might also have to make Jake. Yeah, I mean, yeah, make him live uh, yeah, together. Yeah, that's a funny sitcom. It's like for some reason Jake had to come live in the big city with his brother Jack. No, 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 no. I think it's the other way around. I think Jake recently moved to the uh, to like an up and coming town and Jack recently got arrested and part of his bail condition is he has to go like live in the custody of someone else who's like a reliable like upstanding citizen. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. I think Jake's last name is just gourmet with the R moved up to like right after the G so it's like groom it. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's very good. <laughs> Jack Gemtrue and Jake Groom it. What is their deal? Why do they do this with their name? I I think it's obvious to me that they they come from like a long line of like famous cannibals and like it's like it's a family but not like a related family. It's like a crime family of cannibals and it's the gourmet crime family. Yeah, I can you do a darker eye color? His eyes look a little friendly. Yeah, I was, this is like as dark as they get. That is like straight up beads or this like gray. Ooh. Oh yeah, gray is right. This, <laughs> this is Jack. Yeah, let's see his evening wear. Maybe he loses the jacket oh, at night. That sounds about right, actually. Black on black. Yeah, I think that it's it's got that slimming effect that I think he what would do like. What do you do with black on black and then pants? You gotta go black, right? Like maybe pinstripe black if they have them. You know, that's actually perfectly good silhouette as is. Black, black, and black with a silver belt clip. He's wearing a ring on his his middle finger. That's just the mark of the gourmet crime family. I actually like that. Yeah, so he'll, we'll, he'll wear that and then we'll put one on. A, oh, should we have, have uh, one glove? Oh, that's two gloves. One white glove. <laughs> I, I kind of love the white leather glove with the middle finger ring over top of it, though. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> He had a ring fitted for his gloved hand. It looks like this is what he wears in the factory. <laughs> yes, he works nights. Okay, so let's make Jake. No, it would really mess up our plans. What if instead of like, you know, uh, Leo Frick falling for Jack, Leo Frick falls for Jake. Oh, man, because I think something that you can do is you can actually like, I can make somebody who mm -hmm. looks like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's if Jake worked at, like, was a software programmer instead of a cannibal. <laughs> he had just, yeah, gone down the, the right path. Just gone to college. Is he wearing socks and sandals? <laughs> God, I hate this guy. All right, well, it's, let's, let, let me, we can randomize, actually. Oh, please. I was going to ask if you could. This is the most, okay, awful. <laughs> but this is so in the Robots on Typewriter spirit to just hit the random button and see what we get. This boy needs hair, please. Procedural generation, baby. No, that's their dad. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, the face has something I like. Do well. Do we, should we stop and then and start trying? Yeah, to... yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take this weird little masquerading sea captain and go with it. <laughs> Jake and groom it. <laughs> expert in growing plants and becoming an expert gardener. He's a farmer. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. He's also a foodie. He is also a foodie. I love that foodie is now just cannibal. <laughs> They're both nice, but he's like genuine, I think, because he's a little, he's kind of a little dim. He's a little baby boy. He's not a little baby boy. I feel like he was nice and like friendly, right? He's, is he good though? Like, is that, is he? Mm, no, he's not good. What about? I like that, that he's constantly trying to interact with Jake, Jack and Jack is not having it. He's like a little bit of a buffoon where Jack yeah. is like, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, what about yeah, clumsy? Yeah. Does that sound yeah. good to fix this whole situation? Yeah, yeah, first shave off that mustache and give him a new haircut. What are we thinking for his hair? I think it's shaggier. I think it's like, Probably not right. Uh, it might be right. Do we think his hair is the same color or does he dye it a different color? Um, can you show me like a a reddish brown? It's a little strong. Maybe maybe it's all right. Maybe I'm just still fixated on J Jack. I think his jaw doesn't need to be so sharp. These are too sharp too. I think a different nose shape maybe. A whole different nose? He had his mother's nose? Yeah, it's green. Yeah, I think that's fine that it's like still close, but it's different enough. All right, let's make this man a farmer. Uh, he's definitely, well, he's he's a rugged man, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's not as slim as uh, Jack, but he's not in bad shape. He just kind of like, you know, farmer dad strong. Farmer dad strong is a new hashtag I'm trying to get going. He, is he like a flannel kind of farmer? I don't even know what else a Ooh. farmer would wear. Yeah, I feel like flannels at the factory or at the farm and then just, you know, t-shirt and jeans on the weekend. Oh, 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 oh his pants went away. <laughs> <laughs> Why did his pants go away? Why is he wearing cowboy boots and no pants? Oh, I'm sorry. You just caught me in the... I wasn't expecting anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I always have my boots on. 
just in case. <laughs> what if he actually yeah, cut, off. cut off, though? I don't know about that. I feel like being a little, like, frumpy and plain is his nature. It's true. I feel like that makes it interesting if one of, like, the other, like, also kind of sharp-dressed boys ends up liking him. He needs that family. Oh, yeah. You gotta get the ring on. What does he wear at- Who is he wearing? It's like a, like a tucked-in flannel, maybe? I think he just wears, like, you know, nice t-shirt and jeans. Okay, yeah. Like, I, I don't think he gets all that fancy even when he's, like, getting fancy. Damn right I support it. <laughs> That's a tucked-in t-shirt. Now he looks... <laughs> That's a whole look. <laughs> Why is he wearing a Hertz shirt? He looks like a character from Goodfellas. Was he wearing two watches? <laughs> I didn't think he might have been. <laughs> They both read the same time, though. Like with Transformer, it's done its duty, queen and country. Look, we did a few different versions of what it means to be computationally creative. Sometimes it's hitting the random button a few times and then just talking it out. Entirely true. Hmm. He's probably worth a pair of nice jeans, right? Yeah, I think that's about right. Those cowboy boots? Oh, yes. I wonder if we can get him in jeans with the cowboy boots we'll show, we'll show over them. These are like too fitted for him though. Yeah, if we have to air one way or the other, I would say get the boots tucked in even if it's too fitted. I feel like he proudly shows off his cowboy boots. All right, I think we're gonna have to go with those even though that really show off his little butt. But <laughs> is this the Gourmet Brothers? I think we've got them. Is this the Gourmet Brothers, yeah. Little did we know that they're called the Gourmet Brothers. I think... I think giving him a last name has humanized Jack for me. I'm so glad to hear it. Uh, that picture is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I thought- Can you name like what house they live at? Because their house would absolutely be called Mount Rouge. Another uh, anagram, of course. I want that. I thought I was taking a snapshot of that. I want that first one back. All right, those are our brothers. Let's put them on a lot in this little, in this strange little gay village that we're that we're that we're creating yeah and again the backstory is that uh jack was arrested in the big city and now is being sent to like this more quiet town to live in his brother's custody for a while okay so we've got our we've got our three sets of people they're all hanging out um and i think what we will do is come back uh next week or some time in the future and we can we can do some quick builds on homes for them. I think we'll probably have yeah. some like templates, but we can also consult right with Transformer to see how they decorate. And yeah, yeah, I think that's it. That we just you know we try to make the story play out now, and when in doubt, we let a computer decide. I would say if you listen to the podcast and you want one of our like classic characters, you have a favorite you want in here, let us know, and we can you know prioritize making that person. We have an email address. It's uh robots at batcamp.org you can also just this is a youtube video so you can comment down below I forgot forgot about that you can follow us on twitter at robot typewriter as well if you're finding us through this video weird but we do podcasts in this kind of vein so you should check them out robots on typewriters yep. yeah that's robots on typewriters for sure signing off okay <laughs> i did some like hand signs i did a little salute <laughs>